welcome to your July 15th through the 30th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Today we're going to be going under the sea with the under the sea tarot and the dolphin and mermaids tarot. So that's cool. But you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified because in August we're going to Wonderland and I'm so excited. I have it all planned out and uh, yeah, August 1st we're going to be going to Wonderland together. So that will be really fun. You won't want to miss that. Um, so you'll definitely want to subscribe. Alright, so let's get started Libra. What is the central theme of Libra's reading? Well, that just wanted to come out. It says, ready, set, go. It came out like that and then it's, yeah. Um, now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Yeah, so that's what you're getting, Libra. Okay, give me three cards for Libra's internal world. Three cards for Libra's internal world. All right, so there's definitely some addictions here that you're battling. The first we have is the um, Titans, the Knight of Titans or the Knight of Wands in the traditional Rider Wade deck. He's in the reverse. So this is the card of narcissism. So we're dealing with a narcissist here. Um, this is a reckless, out of control hooligan who moves too fast, he rushes things, he's over the top, he shows off. He can be a little violent, he's rebellious, he's a womanizer, he's a bully, he, he throws temper tantrums, um, he can't always finish what he starts. This could be asking you, are you partying too hard, especially with the next card. Um, so are you partying too hard? This is a womanizer. He's never happy with what he has. He's jealous. It's a time to start planning for the future. He has his finger in too many pies. He's a Leo energy. And then we have the devil. And the devil's toxic. The devil's about addiction. And think about addiction. You choose to be an addict. You chose to take that drink of alcohol. You chose to do that drug. So, and you choose to continue. You choose to smoke that cigarette. So, the devil is about choices. So, you chose that. This is addictions. This is toxicity. This is um, narcissism. Bad relationships. This is temptation. This is abuse. We have abuse here and we have abuse here. So internally there's abuse. And then we have the eight of wands. Sorry, is that the nine? Yeah, the, I'm sorry, the nine of wands. We have the nine of wands. So we could be talking about Sagittarius, so Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who's constantly on guard, who's taking on way too much, underestimating massive efforts needed. You're trying to cope. This is the battle-weary soldier, too many battles to fight, reflection on the past, discovering strengths, reassessing the present commitments, repeating same mistakes. So if, if this is a drug addiction, if this is an addiction to alcohol, if this is an addiction to narcissism, to toxic relationships, because you can actually be addicted to abuse. You can be addicted to bad relationships. That is, that is something I, I actually went to, uh, I'm in a group called Love Addicts Anonymous, so you can be addicted to that. This is um, repeating past mistakes that are toxic, that are bad for your health. Three cards for Libra's family and home life, please. Three cards for Libra's family and home life, please. Character card. Stability. Emotions. And victory. All right, so there's a couple here. We have a king and a queen. And these, this is a very cohesive couple. 
Um, what is the king of starfish? And what is the queen of shells? Starfish is traditionally pentacles, which is earth energy, and shells is cups, which is um, shells are cups, which is water energy. And water and earth get along really, really well. So this is a couple that gets along really well. They're both in the negative, so they both have the negative aspects of their personalities. Uh, one can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and one can be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it's just bringing on that energy. It doesn't have to be those signs. Um, so when the Queen of Cups reverses, we have somebody who's very overly emotional, who's moody, who's depressed, who's sulky, who's violent, who's a con man, um, who's manipulative, jealous, uh, heartbreak, sadness, gloom and doom, scandal, blocked emotions. And then when the king of pentacles reverses, we have financial loss, insecurity, collapse of a business, poor judgment, money mad, bribes, get rich quick schemes. But I really don't see a lot of conflict here. It's like you, you, this couple just, there are the negative aspects of themselves, but they get along. One's real greedy and one's real manipulative and emotion, really emotional. One's lazy and one's jealous. <laughs> One's mature and one's influential. The opposites attract. Oh, and then there's victory. There's a parade, a victorious parade, a celebration. People are recognizing you for your efforts. And there is conflict here. There's definitely conflict here. Externally. Those elements don't get along. That's fire energy. That's Leo energy. What's going on with Libra's money? What's going on with Libra's money? Right, so there isn't a happy family. There could be a broken home or marriage. But money's coming in. She's financially secure. She's the queen of pentacles. She's the queen of starfish. Your finances are improving. They're, they're getting stable. And we have strength reverse, which is Leo energy. Again, we have Leo energy here. Um, so this is a loss of control, depression, despair, lack of courage. Overinflated ego. Trying to control your money by force. But it's coming in. But you're not strong. Why is Libra having an issue with strength? Why is Libra having an issue with strength? Knight in shining armor, emotional sweet talker, too many options, feeling overwhelmed. But there is manifestation of a new financial opportunity. So the first we have is the Knight of Shells, which is the Knight of Cups in the traditional Rider way. This is Scorpio energy. This is imagination, a lover of music and arts, elegant, sophisticated, Knight of Shining Armor, touched by beauty, soft and gentle easily hurt and offended. 
too many options, too many things going on, trying to find meaning in life, temptation, there could be drugs involved here, drugs or alcohol, which goes back to your internal world. It look, your internal world almost looks like a drug addict who is fighting addiction. He's fighting addiction here. You're fighting addiction. And then we have the page of starfish, which is the page of pentacles. This is um, news of money, loan applications being approved, savings and possessions, um, solid, grounded financial start, a student studying to get ahead, goal setting. keeps wanting to come out. This is your card. This is Libra. This is justice. Whatever happens, it's fair, just, and karmic. It kept wanting to come out. Okay, so what's going on with Libra's social and romantic life? Well, the moon reversed. Fantasy illusion addictions. Okay, it could be cancer energy. I'm seeing massive, like, there's drug addictions here. Massive drug addictions here, Libra. Uh, the King of the King of Cups in the upright, being emotionally immature. Um, he's deep wisdom, calm, caring, sensitive, a guru, a teacher, a psychologist. He's Pisces energy. It always seems like this is something from the past. This this addiction was from the past and it's creeping up and it's, it's affecting you again in your present. All right, and then I have another character card here. I have the uh, Knight of Starfish, which is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So this is uh, breathing life into new plants, making things happen. He's ambitious, he's a hard worker. He's devilishly handsome. He's dark and brooding, strong and muscular, athletic and stocky, well-mannered, helpful, friendly, diligent. He takes responsibility. He's reliable and loyal. He works tirelessly in the background. He dresses conservative, classic. He's predictable and constant. He's naturally protective and defensive. He's self-assured. He loves to garden. He's the master of do-it-yourself projects. He's down-to-earth, patient. He can be very stubborn. He's Taurus energy. What's going on with Libra's career? Three cards for Libra's career. Oh, and this is the moon. This is a major arcana card. This is addictions. This is fantasy. This is illusions. I was talking about but I don't think I showed it to you. Libra's career. Three cards for Libra's career. Alright, the hammer point reverse. That's Taurus energy. Right. More knights. Almost every knight came out of here. So knights are all about conquest. Knights are act on ideas. Knights are um, highly action oriented and extreme. They're change, movement, action. Ready, set, go. Change, movement, action. Ready, set, go. You know what you gotta do and you gotta do it. You already know. You're all about conquering. All of the kings are coming. Well, we have we have a lot of kings here too. Two kings. We have two kings. Every knight came out. We have the knight of pentacles, the knight of uh, cups. We have the knight of wands. We have the knight of swords. They all came out to play. So if you're a woman, those could be men. 
that you're dealing with, there's a lot of options here. There's two kings, one in your family that's in the reverse, that's in the negative aspect of himself, and one in your romantic and social life that's in the positive aspect of yourself, of the self. Um, the one in your family and home life is greedy and materialistic. The one in your social and romantic life is um, emotional, emotionally mature. A wise counselor. We have some queens here. One. We have one queen. And that's in your money. And that's the queen of starfish, which is all about money, which is all about prosperity. And then we have Taurus. He's in the reverse. So... This is the hair farm. This is breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your, your own rules, being very hypocritical in terms of your career. We have the Knight of Swords in the upright. So this is um, the thumbs up to go ahead and put your plans into action. Look to the future and go for it. Um, express yourself now, quick decisions, things are going your way. And then we have the page of swords. This is news of legal matters, conflicts, problems, gossip, stressful news, um, hospital appointments, test results, power, victory, defending yourself, travel, um, Having your head in the clouds, daydreaming, a lot on your mind, thinking about it, freedom of speech. Well, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful day.